Hi folks, Rick Waddell here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer at RFG Advisory in Birmingham. And today is Tuesday, May 12th. And I thought I'd come to you with a brief market update, uh, let you know what's going on out there. Uh, the S&P 500, as I speak, is about 29.25. Uh, that is down about 15 basis points or a little more than one tenth of 1%. Uh, three twentieths of one percent, to be precise. Uh, but in any event, it's down slightly. Um, not a huge move uh, versus the level that we've seen. We've been hanging out around twenty nine hundred on the S and P five hundred for the past couple of days. Um, that's certainly about hundred points higher uh, than we were at that twenty eight hundred level from about a week uh, to two weeks ago. Um, so nice to see a little bit of price appreciation there. Um, you know, the market is clearly responding to the increasing signs and uh, mantra around reopening. Uh, so uh, you're starting to see states around the country, including uh, Alabama, start to reopen for business and start to increase the amount of uh, various activities that can happen. Uh, and the market is looking for those positive signs, looking for that um, increase. Uh, you know, the street is actually looking at some very interesting metrics. Um, one of it being uh, GPS uh, traffic data uh, from TomTom Tom and Waze and the various other uh, providers of those types of software platforms. Um, and they're discovering that in cities where they have reopened, uh, particularly in Germany and Spain and some cities here in the United States, um, you're starting to see traffic levels bounce back uh, fairly aggressively, um, uh, uh, almost to pre-crisis levels. Um, which is a great sign in terms of the amount of economic activity that's potentially rebounding on the other side of that. We certainly uh, want to see people get out of their homes and start to engage in commerce uh, as the restrictions uh, start to lift. Um, so that's a good sign. I think the markets are responding positively to that. Uh, we also saw some data out, some interesting data out over the uh, household survey uh, on employment uh, the past couple of days, uh, which is Interesting in that it lists almost all of the most recent layoffs and job uh, losses as temporary. Um, so uh, households are surveyed, uh, businesses are surveyed to determine whether or not uh, layoffs were permanent or temporary, uh, and almost all of them are being lifted, listed as temporary. Uh, which is good news because if we go back to previous recessionary cycles, um, the higher percentage um, that is temporary, uh, the faster the recovery tends to take place. Uh, people who view their layoffs as temporary tend to not spike their savings rate as much um, as they might otherwise. Uh, they tend to continue to spend. Uh, so that's all a positive indicator on the economy. Um, had a bit of a brief blip overnight uh, when the uh, administration blocked uh, a four and a half billion dollar federal retirement fund from being able to invest in Chinese equities. Uh, some people are interpreting that as uh, the sign that there might be a little bit of a, a, a trade spat developing. Um, just to put everything in context, a four and a half billion dollar fund is certainly large uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, but not at all large in the size of the overall equity markets. Um, and so I really think that that's much more of a uh, political statement uh, than it is any type of thing that the Chinese would actually take seriously or feel the need to retaliate uh, to. Um, so we'll see whether and where that goes, but it doesn't have me all that concerned just given the overall magnitude and scale. Um, and then last but not least, you had Dr. Fauci uh, out this morning uh, with some words of concern around reopening too fast and potentially reigniting the spread of the virus. Um, that is something that we will continue to monitor. Um, obviously, if states have to start to shut down again uh, in order to prevent the spread of the virus, uh, then that would put a damper on um, the outlook for the markets. Uh, but it's too soon to tell whether or not that direction, uh, whether or not we actually move in that direction or not. Um, and in the meantime, uh, the market is pleased with what it's seen. Um, so with that, uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to me or your advisor. Um, I look forward to talking to you again soon, and I hope you have a wonderful day.